Hey guys, it is Michelle, and I went shopping for my mom's birthday. Um, this is about a week's worth of stuff, because I did pick up a few things um, as well. But we'll just get started. Um, I guess I'll just go in order of what I picked up. Now, for Mother's Day, we picked up my mother um, some flowers, and we got her a few gift cards. But, um... I found this, and I've been looking for this for quite some time, but they never have it because there's two different key styles, and they never had in my style of key. So I finally found it. This is a fox printed key. Isn't that amazing? It is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. Um, so now I have this. So that when um, my parents are away, I can go up to the house and check on the dog and all that stuff. So that's really awesome. I've been wanting this forever. Um, I have a princess one for mine, and I'm just so excited. I should have gotten one of each, but then I thought I'd get them confused, so I didn't. Next, I had to go and drop off some. I have a ton. Let me see if I can grab them really quick. I have a absolute ton of um, cameras that like I just found in a bag and I have no idea what's on these. Do you guys remember these? I don't even know if they still sell these anymore, these throwaway cameras. No idea what's on any of these so I'm slowly dropping a few off at a time because they don't do one hour photo on these types of things anymore. Um, obviously because of digital cameras. So. Um, I went to drop a few of those at Walgreens, and while I was there, I was like, well, I need to pick up some tissues and stuff like that, but I found this, and it's absolutely awesome. I'm really excited. So, this is an Essie polish in Off Tropic. That's what the color looks like. This is a really, really dark green, and it was reduced to 59 cents. You can't beat the price. It's a really, really dark green. It's actually not coming up um, what the color actually is. Oh, that's close right there. But it's really cool. And for the price for an Essie, I looked to see if they had different colors. They didn't. Otherwise, I would have been down with that. Um, we're going to do a toy video later. It's Funko inspired, so definitely... Um, look out for that. I'm going to do that separately because that's a separate entity within itself. Um, okay. <clears throat> Next we went to Wally World and I own the original album, but what caught my attention about this is that there was a song on here that has, hasn't been released in the U.S. Now you know you're getting old and one of your favorite groups has like a greatest hits album now. So I found this in sync CD for five bucks. And there's a song on here called I'll Never Stop. And it said it was previously unreleased in the United States. And then there's Music of My Heart with Gloria Estefan, which um, I never owned that album. So that was one of the songs that I missed. It was like, for five bucks, and I know one of them, I think it's, I don't remember if it's my celebrity or my No Strings Attached one, it's scratched, and I'm a little upset. So some of the songs, um, they have a little bit of everything on here. Bye, 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 girlfriend. Um, this I promise you, it's going to be me. God must have spent a little more time on you. They got, like, almost all of their hits on here. Pop, gone. Tearing out my heart. I drive myself crazy. Yeah, they pretty much got all of them on here. The only one I didn't like, and it's kind of like, to me it was sad, when Gone came out, that was their last um, single, I didn't like it. Even when the album was released before that song became a single, I wasn't a fan of that song. But um, it, was, it was since it was like their last single, it's almost like it's like they knew they knew that was gonna be it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who knows? But um, yeah. So that's that. So I'm gonna do my mom's stuff last because it's awesome. Um, next, now we went to this one flower shop to pick up some flowers. Um, I got a basil plant, which I'm not going to show you because you've seen what a basil plant looks like. But they have a big thing trending right now um, is all these like fairy gardens, and I've seen nautical themed gardens and stuff like that, and I love it. It's very tedious, and 
I'm looking for the right, I, I plan on doing one eventually, but I'm looking for the right um, vessel to put them in. But when I saw her, I like she goes well with my collection of cuteness. So I'll just show you her. She was a little pricey on my opinion, but the crafting stuff normally is. She was $9.99. I was like, Ugh. I was like, okay, but I really do love her. But it's this cute baby mermaid blowing a little conch. And she's absolutely adorable. And I fell in love with her. Because I think she's a little overpriced, but that particular place, um, they're very, very pricey. But they're one of those places where all of the plants, there's no pesticides, they have a grocery store, and everything in there is local. And so, I mean, I understand why it was pricey, but still. Next, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bad. I went to Best Buy. Um, Joey wanted to pick up something there. But I, like, hit the mother load of awesomeness. So the first thing I got was this Roy Orbison um, Hits album. I love Roy Orbison. I love a lot of different genres of music. This was only $5.99 and has three of my favorite songs. Pretty Woman, Only the Lonely, and Crying. They're all really good. If you're not familiar with Roy Orbison, look him up awesome you got to appreciate it because it is very it's from the 50s um but amazing if you don't know pretty woman you need to pause this video and you need to go watch it like seriously but yeah so i got that for 5.99 i haven't bought a cd in a while and now i bought two within a week i think i'm good for now next one that i got and this was $4.99. Yes, it was. Um, I rented this on Redbox when it first came out, and we liked it, but we never got around to buying it just because we were like, well, $20 something is kind of expensive for it, and we didn't... Like, if it's something we absolutely love, we'll buy it when it comes out. Um, we liked it, but I just never got around to buying it. I didn't was like, well, let's get it. No, well, we just seen it, so we didn't really get around to buying it. So we got... Megamind, it's it's really funny. It's cute. You got Will Ferrell, you got Brad Pitt in it. Who else is in here? Jonah Hill, David Cross, um, Tina Fey. So, I mean, they got a really awesome cast. It's really funny. So, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's really cute. And uh, for four ninety nine, I was like, ah, might as well get it now because it's only five bucks. Um, the next thing I found, and this is a Blu-ray, and this movie we've loved for a long time, and we were actually talking about it the other day. We were like, oh, we really need to pick that up. And it like kind of like went to the back of my mind, because we did love it at the time. And I don't remember why we never came around to buying it. It's kind of weird. But anyway, um, it's this one. It is a Tim Burton film. It's Dark Shadows. It's based off of a TV show. This movie's really funny and super cute. Um, again, I think you kind of have to appreciate Tim Burton's style. If you're not into Tim Burton, this probably isn't for you. Um, Joey's on the fence with Tim Burton. I love everything Tim Burton, with the exception of Frankie we Frank and Weenie, because anytime a dog dies, I die inside, and I can't, I can't handle it. Even the new one, I watched it, and I loved it, but the dog dies, and it crushes my insides. I can't handle it. But, um... Yeah, so this was only $5.99, not bad for a Blu-ray at all. Their discount Blu-rays are cheaper than Walmart. Walmart, I think they're around $7 in those bins. But I was like, oh, you know, speak of the devil, man. Um, we were just talking about buying this movie, and for $5.99, I was like, we'll scoop it. Yeah. <laughs> and here I'm thinking, okay, got two awesome movies and a CD, I'm good. I found these two, and these were also in that category where we're like, oh, well, we'll get to buying them. And the one I couldn't find, I'll, I'll say that one for the last one. Like, when I wanted to buy I couldn't find it anywhere. So, I don't know. So, this one, um, hysterical. I haven't seen the second one yet. It looked funny. I saw this one quite a few times, and it's hysterical. This is Ted. You either love it or you hate it. I've noticed with this movie, some people absolutely think it's hysterical. Some people think it's really stupid. I like Mark Wahlberg. I think he's awesome. Um, 
I think this movie's funny. And this was only $3.99. Like, for $3.99, we're down. And then the last one, which, like I said, when I first saw it, I couldn't find it anywhere. I wanted this movie so bad, couldn't find it anywhere. Love this movie. Um, he's one of my favorite actors. Every time I see his name on something, he's one of those actors where I feel you know it's going to be good. There's like a, a handful of actors I feel that if their name is on it, you know, oh, this is going to be a good movie. And I feel he's one of them. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, I mean, he's cute, number one. and He's very talented. He finally got his Oscar. Love him. Um, Shutter Island. This movie, um, it says it right on the cover, a stunning masterpiece that requires and demands multiple viewings. It is one of those. If you haven't seen it, when you get to the ending, you kind of sit there in shock and trying to process everything. Um, a really, really good movie. Strongly recommend this if you haven't seen it. Again, this was another $3.99 at Best Buy, so I'm sure you can find a copy there. I was so stoked. And this one is amazing. I love thrillers that get your mind to think and make you like question things and stuff. And that is definitely one of them. Beautifully done absolutely amazing so <clears throat> now we'll go i mean there's one or two things in here for me as well but we'll um i'll show you what i got for my mom because i had coupons to use and i don't see why not to use the, the coupons for gifts as well i know some people don't but oh so we'll do victoria secrets first i had a few coupons here and they had a deal going on so my mom has been really wanting this perfume and I know she would never spend this kind of money on a perfume so I went I picked it up for her this is the Victoria's Secrets very sexy this is the red one um, the one location that I frequently go to um, recommended this to my mother and she really really liked it but it's a $68 um, perfume and she didn't want to spend that on that. So I was like, well, I'll get that. So <clears throat> I had two coupons with me that day. I had a free panty coupon with a purchase, which obviously is going to be for me. I'm not going to get my mother underwear. That's weird. And then a 20% off coupon. But if you spent $60 on beauty, you got a free tote. So I'll show you the underpant first. This is a adorable they had the matching bra i should have gotten the bra but um, that'll be for my next visit um so i got this little hipster i think this is a hipster mm -hmm. i know it says on here low rise hipster yep because i loved the print and the color so cute and it says pink with glitter i got a bra similar but it's black so I got that. I was like, well, if I'm making a purchase anyway, I should at least get my free panty. So got that. So with the 20% off, it dropped it down to like $58, <laughs> something like that. So it was too low to get the bag. It dropped it to 54 So she recommended um, getting one of these. This was $5. This is a coconut milk hand cream. So that brought it just to where I needed it. So there was that. And then this is the bag. Um, let's see if I can open it without... I wanted... I really want to give it to my mother, but I don't think this is her style of tote. So I'm just going to put everything in the tote and give it to her. See if I can open this gingerly. Mmm. I don't think she would like this. Well, it comes in this really cute little storage baggie. There's Victoria's Secrets on it. Yeah, no, this is not her type of material. But it's just a tote, like something you bring to the gym. I mean, I'll use it at the gym. Actually, this would be really great to bring on vacation because of the bag it comes in. Like, when you buy goodies, you could just stuff them all in here. So, I don't know yet. I may give it to her, but... She likes things that are blinged out, and that thing is not. So, normally the only time she'll do like the totes there is when they're all blinged out, and this one isn't. So, um, probably won't do that. But I got her the hand cream and perfume from there, and I got a free painting for myself. So that's always 
fun. Who doesn't love free panties? So now next, I had a few coupons for here. <clears throat> and, oh, one of the bows fell off. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put that back on. Because I had them wrap up my mom's stuff because they... This particular location, we're on a first name basis because I'm there far too often. I love Bath and Body Works. I use it for gifts. I love it myself. They have awesome coupons. Like... Yeah, you got it. You got it. So anyway, what I got for my mom, um, she, now they have this new naturals line, and I think she's really going to enjoy this one. This is the lavender and sandalwood with natural lavender oil. So I think she'll like this one. And look at all that hologram going on. Like, how cool. Now, two of her favorites have been discontinued. It was the Wild Vanilla Madagascar and um, the Cashmere Glow. So those are discontinued. Just letting you guys know, I'm sorry if I broke some hearts there. Um, and the other one is this Pink Cashmere, which is similar to Cashmere Glow. So I got her those. I had also had a free um, mini with your purchase. I have so many minis, I was like, I'm just going to treat her to one. So we got her another Japanese cherry blossom. It's her favorite. I hate it. You guys know why. No need to get into the details of that. I'm going to have to redo this one. I don't like the way this one looks. Like, he tried, but it just doesn't look nice. I don't think it looks pretty pretty. So I got her the small Japanese cherry yucky. the island cotton because she likes the clean scent of that and then I almost got this but I still have the winter rose one this is rose water and ivy it smells like lily of the valley oh prices are still on here and she loves lily of the valleys and she knows what the stuff goes for so I guess it doesn't really matter but um so we got her that as well that in. <clears throat> Make that look pretty, pretty. I mean, they were busy. I get it. it. I mean, they're awkwardly shaped, so it happens, but I can't say nothing bad about that location. They always take care of me. They're always good. And they're always like, hey, wait. Wait, don't, don't, don't buy that now. Wait a second. I'm like, oh, okay. So, um, those are for my mom as well. And then, I couldn't help myself. I bought two things for me. I got, because there was a save $7 or something like that. So, this rang up like five bucks. So, I got this almond and vanilla with natural almond oil, which is like amazing. Mm. I'm really excited for this one. I haven't tried any of the natural line, but a lot of the girls at work have, and they really like it. So, I'm really excited for that one. And the other thing I couldn't live with, it was the last one. It was actually the display one, and I, like, took it. Um, is this cute little bag that says, See You Later. I think this will be perfect for, like, um, traveling. When I go on vacation and stuff, I could put jewelry in here. I already have a makeup bag that I use, so I won't be putting makeup in here. But it's like the perfect size for jewelry. And I couldn't help it. This was $5. But with them, I had a 20% off coupon as well. And I think I lost the receipt. Not that that's the end of the world, but you know. Oh, it came up to like maybe three and change for this so it wasn't horrible but that's everything guys again later on we will be doing a toy video um i got a few new ones recently some i think are gonna go on my ebay or um i was thinking about opening up a second instagram just for um things that I'm selling on eBay and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in any of the items that are on sale that you could message me on there so let me know down below your thoughts on that but that's um, what I'm thinking about doing with that. 
Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.